Hi folks, I'm going to review a uh, competing camera for GoPro today. So, um, I ordered this Apeman, let's Ape Man, AP60, oh no, sorry, A66 action camera on Amazon. It was $39.99 and it includes a boatload of accessories. So, my close up footage on this video was shot with one. Um, and one of my problems with my GoPros is I shoot for an hour and they're dead and they have to go charge for a couple hours. So this one has removable batteries and so I bought a pair of batteries with a charger for $12. All of which shipped in two days from Amazon through fulfillment by Amazon. So let's get started with the charger. This is a 8-man B1502 battery pack and uh, we'll just use a pair of pliers to break the seal and get in here. Um, it's reasonably well packaged. They're using some kind of foam. The little cable it comes with is a flat cable. Mm, you know, I'm not sure it's good for much. And um, two cute little batteries. Again, extremely well packaged. You're not going to have any any damage. And, and then there's this little charger. It's a um, we'll just steal this cable here. So it is a uh, micro USB cable. Just plugs in and the batteries just drop in one at a time. Um, and it will charge both batteries at the same time. And, uh, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, you know, GoPro should really be afraid because for $12, this is a heck of a deal for two batteries with a charger. And, um, and they're not even knockoffs, they're from the manufacturer of the camera. So, um, you know, that's that. So now the camera itself is an amazing deal. So I'll just slide this over out of my way for the moment. Really well packed. Um, I would actually say it's overkill on the packaging. Uh, let me throw this in my recycle bin. It comes with a spare back with a seal built in, so I'll leave that in the bag. It comes with some straps. I'm not really sure what these are for, so I'll throw those in the bag. And then it comes with a constellation of little bits and pieces, um, another spare battery which we'll need. This one has a black tab. That's how you know it's a, it, it came with the camera. Mounts, 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 and more mounts. Some replacement tape. Some zip ties. So we'll take the zip ties out of their plastic packaging. Um, a little wipe down cloth. An owner's manual in six languages. More mounts. And then you've got the camera itself, which has a mount attached to it. So again, I'll recycle. So, you come, it comes with a pair of adhesive um, surface mounts. There's probably $40 worth of uh, hot shoe accessories here. And the best part is they're absolutely 100% compatible with GoPro. So, um, you know, there is a pole mount here that will allow you to mount the camera to some sort of circular object. And then it will just slide in there. Um, I don't know that I would use that. There are a absolute ton of little mounts and adapters. Um, I guess these are designed to turn, you know, 90 degrees. I don't know. There's just a ton of these things. Um, shoes to go into these, which is awesome. Um, some sort of another little clip-on thing. I'm not 100% sure what that's for either. Let's just throw it in there. This is apparently to mount the camera. So it, it what I figured out is it goes with uh, this part here, and these are two mounts. So one of these that's a that's a shoe adapter, by the way, and as is this, and you could put this in, and um, I guess you could mount it like this at this point. And um, the only problem is the camera isn't very well protected in here and this is not a very heavy-duty camera. 
Um, another mount. Um, it's just really a tragedy that they're all in little tiny plastic bags that you have to mess with to get them out. But, And then another little tiny USB cable. This one's a little nicer than the one they send with the charger. Um, and just bonus packaging from hell. So let's get down to the camera itself. Um, that's good enough in terms of the way the um, clasp works. Uh, I'm looking for my GoPro camera. Here it is. So the GoPro clasp is a little bit better designed. Um, the ergonomics on the GoPro are better. Um, the camera pops out and um, you know it's it's got a little screen protector on here that you can just peel off and throw away. The camera is extremely light. Um, there's a spot for an SD card. Let me get that. So I've got a 32 gig SD card for this camera and that'll just slide in here. And um, this was a little hard to get open. Um, I had some trouble with this and this is... You know, I, I actually found it tends to pop open um, if you drop the camera. Oh, and apparently there's uh, some kind of a film on top of the lens, which is really not cool. Because now that means you've got to clean the lens after you peel that off. And I didn't see that on the other one, so I'll have to take that one out of the, out of its case later. Um, this is hard to open. This is one of my complaints with the camera: is the ergonomics leave a little bit, little bit to be desired here on this clasp. Um, and you can see I'm really having to use two hands and really struggle with this. Finally got that open, so I'll take a battery that I know is charged. It only goes in one way, if I remember right. So I don't think I can. No, you can insert it backwards, but it doesn't do anything. So we'll go ahead and put that in, and we'll put the other battery on its charger. Now the part that I think really sucks is getting this back in here is again not ergonomic at all. Um, you've got to get this in here, and then um, from here on out, it's not a big deal. This this is relatively easy to get out once there's something under it. Um, you know, this is not very ergonomic. Um, in terms of the camera's functioning, you know, it's unique. GoPro has its own pain in the butt mode. You basically turn this on, and it will automatically come up in HD mode, and then you just hit the button once, and it'll start recording in video automatically. So in that sense, that's good. Um, you do need to go into mode, and you need to set... Um, you need to set the cycle... You need to turn off cyclic record. For some stupid reason, they think you should put this on a three-minute recorder. So you should turn that off, um, and then, you know, there's a bunch of other features that this has. Um, you, you know, it's not a bad, it, it, you know, again, it's not a bad little camera. It will do time lapse. It will do stills. Um, this would be a fantastic first camera for a, a kid. Um, you know, it... Uh, the mode button switches between what it does and OK actuates it, and then it has two extra buttons for selections here. Um, and what I really liked about it is it has a little tiny one and a half inch screen on it that you can see here. And that little screen lets me at least see what is going to be in the frame. You know, um, I think it'll take pretty decent HD video. Um, we'll see. So. And then you just hold this down to turn it off. And that's really all there is to it. So um, 
When it's in here, it just tends to not be terribly well protected and it has to go in. It's a little bit hard to get in, in here. And um, I'm not 100% sure what the purpose of this little mount is other than maybe to use it like this. But you still got to pry the thing out for anything you do with it. So, uh, you know, it's just another tool um, depending on what you're using this camera for. Um, overall, I give it a solid, um, a solid seven as a camera. And then when you get down to what it costs, I'd give it a 10. Um, you know, for $39.95, this is a heck of a nice deal. I don't, you know, they say it's waterproof to, um, uh, several hundred or to 30 meters. And I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for 20 seconds. Um, I think that this this will get dirt in it and it will flood in a heartbeat. Um, you know, when you compare it to um, well, that's interesting. So I guess I'm overloading my charger with these things. Yeah, the charger is not happy. So we'll give it a different charger. Um, but, uh, you know, I think for my purposes for shooting more B-roll footage, it's going to be perfect. And that's actually what I bought it for is there's times when I want to have multiple cameras and I don't have, um, I don't have an easy way to accomplish that. And this is apparently still overloading my little charge, my little USB power source here. It's kind of a shame. So I will have to find another way to manage that. I've just got some cheap uh, Chinese wall warts that I picked up for this purpose. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching my video and I hope you found it interesting and useful. Um, I am going to do another video on GoPro faults here in just a second.